Welcome inside the Vancouver Canucks locker room. Joey Kenward with you following tonight's Canucks 4-1 home ice loss to the visiting Calgary Flames. The lone goal scorer tonight was Emerson Eden. We'll hear from him in a few minutes, but we'll head to the captain first. And a frustrating night for Vancouver, considering you were a team that was in this game. Henrik, 1-0 into the third period. What happened tonight here on home ice? I felt a little, little bit like uh, last year's playoff. I, I, I felt where we, we had a lot of puck possession, but they kept us to the outside, and their goalie made some unbelievable saves, and uh, they capitalized on the chances they had. Um, so that was the difference. How frustrating was it? You know, getting into scoring chances, but as you mentioned, just not able to get that much closer to Jonas Taylor than probably what you would hope for. No, that's. Uh, like I said, it's uh, they, they keep it to the outside, but I still think we had enough uh, enough uh, chances to uh, to get one when, when they were up one, and that's uh, that would have made a huge difference uh, for us. But uh, that didn't happen. Point in the season now, where with the game's ticking down and a losing streak like you're on, just get magnified even more. How important is it to break out of this as quickly as possible? Yeah, of course. It doesn't matter where you are in the season. It's uh, uh, we know we have 30 games left, and. Um, we're a few points behind. Um, we got to start winning games. That's uh, that's the bottom line. We we feel we have the team in here to to be there, uh, fighting for for a playoff spot. And, uh, we got to start winning games. Do you think the rebounds were there for the taking? I know you said they kept you to the outside, but yeah, the opportunity. Yeah, I thought the rebounds were there. I thought the, our, the first chances were there. Uh, we passed up on a, on a few of our chances where maybe we should have shot the puck instead. And, that's what they do. I mean, they they trick you into making that extra play, and then they have great six uh, back there. So it's uh, it's a tough. Uh, you have to be mentally strong and, and, and take what's there, and uh, don't try to uh, to make it fancy. And that's uh, that's tough against a team like this. Post game comments of Captain Henrik Sedin following tonight's 4-1 defeat here at home to the visiting Calgary Flames. We'll head across the room and catch up with the lone goal scorer tonight, Emerson Edom, who for the first time in a Canucks uniform was able to find the back of the net, but I know that he would much rather have had the team finish off the night with a better end result on the scoreboard. And Emerson, just talk about this, another frustrating finish on home on a night where maybe in the first half of the game he had to be pleased with the effort and maybe the opportunity. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it just seems like, uh, you know, they were getting the bounces. Um, you know, they capitalized on, on some of our mistakes. And, uh, you know, we just got to play like we did. And then, uh, you know, the, the, the middle of the second uh, on, I mean, you know, we had some chances. Um, felt we could have maybe threw out his pads a little bit more. He was uh, giving out those rebounds for us, and we just we weren't really driving. But, uh, you know, we just got to uh, save that for, for next game. We got to come out and... Every point from here on out is uh, crucial. I know that first goal was a long time coming for you personally. Maybe just walk us through it. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, when you, you want to get those in a win, but uh, you know, for me, it's it's been a struggle to to put them in, and uh, I just think it's it's uh, you know us as a unit, uh, you know, me and, and Burr and, and Vizi. I mean, we've been we've been working hard. It hasn't really been coming, uh, you know, the way we've been wanting it, but we just keep moving our feet, keep throwing at the net, and and uh, those kind of things go in. So uh, we just got to take that in the next game. What tough was it for your club tonight to be able to not only generate chances but to get? into close shooting opportunities. They seem to do a pretty good job to box you guys to the outside. Yeah, like I said, I mean, we were throwing uh, shots from the outside. It seems like he was giving out those rebounds on the far pad. And, uh, you know, we just need to make sure we're, we're driving those lanes, um, you know, especially towards the end of the year. These games are getting tougher and tougher, and we've got to find those lanes and, and be able to put those home. I know you don't have a lot of road games this month. The next two, though, are away from Vancouver. How important is it to be able to make some hay away from this building next week? Like I said, I mean, every every point from here on out is huge. Um, I feel like especially the, the last uh, maybe three or four games, you know, we'd, we'd like to, to have. But, uh, you know, I think we're we're pushing. It's coming. It's not that it's a, it's a lack of trying. I mean, we're working hard, but uh, we just need to work a little bit harder. Post-game comments of forward Emerson Edom following tonight's 4-1 loss to the Calgary Flames. Let's catch up with Daniel Sedin, who's continuing to answer questions from reporters. Right now we're in need of points and, and we got we to gotta keep, like I said, we play well tonight, well enough to win, but uh, we have to build our chances and, and uh, then things will, will be good for us. Tonight where it seemed that the chances you had were from the perimeter, were you surprised you weren't able to create more traffic and get into 
closer proximity of the Calgary Creeks? Yeah, I think this is the way they play. I mean, they they keep it to the outside, but uh, I think we still had had enough chances to score a few few more goals. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's been like this for a few games now, and, and we we got to fix it. We have to be hunger hungry in front of, of their net. Uh, that's the bottom line. Is there a quick fix? The way things have been going lately, with the amount of goals this team's been putting up. Uh, quick fix. I think you just gotta you gotta play your game and, and uh, go to the net. Uh, I mean, our line was guilty of it too. We hold on to pucks a little bit too long, and, and they're 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 blocking a lot of shots. They're sliding them two and ones, and, and uh, you gotta get pucks to the net and then get bodies there. It's not gonna be easy to get back into the win column. Your next tour on the road. You played some good road hockey in the early part of January, but there were games that you left points on the table on the tail end of that last trip. Yeah, for sure. I, we, we played well too. And, and even, like I said, it hasn't been bad the last two games, but uh, when we're not getting wins and points, it's, it's frustrating. So uh, we've got to go on the road and, and play uh, play a sound uh, sound game. And, and uh, I think we've, we've shown we can do that on the road too. So we're, yeah, we're, we, we need some points. Didn't mean anything to you. Post game thoughts of forward Daniel Sedin following tonight's defeat at home to the Calgary Flames. We'll take a break, come back in here momentarily from Goaltender Ryan Miller. Joey Kenward with you. Stay with us here on Canucks.com and the Canucks YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a close game. I mean, they, they got two open net goals and, uh, uh, you know, they got a, a nice four check for that, that second one. And uh, it looked like Tanner's stick broke. Uh, so, uh, you know, they get they get that little separation where, you know, if it's one nothing in the last five minutes, you know, who knows? So, uh, but that doesn't give us anything. So uh, it's frustrating and we got to start turning the corner and, uh, you know, use this as motivation. You can't can't hang our heads and uh, uh, you know say, oh, well, it happened again. You know, we got to start digging ourselves out, and uh, no one else can do it but us. So, start digging. Just another one goal game in the third period. Another one where you just weren't able to get the equalizer or, or get any kind of momentum. Where's the desperation level you think for your team in these third periods of late? I think you saw a few pucks just scoot away from guys, and you know we had some backside rebounds, and uh, I, I was I was kind of happy with the way guys were getting pucks in that tonight. There's been nights where we haven't really directed pucks there, but we wanted to get it there. They made some nice blocks, and 
you know, so you can talk about puck luck and bounces. Uh, again, that's not something that's going to help us talking about, but uh, I thought the puck was going the right direction and uh, uh, you'd like to get a little more out of it. Now that you guys are supposed to focus on each game as it comes, but is, is, is it hard not to look at the standings and, and see five, a five point deficit? Well, we know where we're at. Uh, we know that it was going to be a long grind, anyways, so we can't. Uh, we don't have time to be uh, down about it. We have to make a course correction and, and, uh, and, and start pulling some stuff out. I know you're concentrating on your own job, but uh, how nice was it to have Dan Handys back tonight? Yeah, it was real nice. I thought he skated well, made some good decisions, a couple nice escape moves, gave himself some time. Uh, you know, I know he's happy back out there, so it's, uh, it's good to see him uh, you know, out there patrolling again. Post-game comments of netminder Ryan Miller, who tonight suffers the loss, gave up two of the four. Calgary scored twice into the empty net on route to a valuable two points, a 4-1 Flames victory here in Vancouver over the Canucks. The lone goal scorer tonight for the home team, Emerson Edom, tallying not only his first goal of the season, but his first goal in a Vancouver uniform. Canucks will have the day off for tomorrow for the Super Bowl as the Carolina Panthers will hoist the trophy for the first time in club history. And then they'll be back on the practice ice here at Rogers Arena on Monday morning before they make their way below the border for a back-to-back -back set which will start in Denver, Colorado against the Colorado Avalanche on Tuesday and then the Arizona Coyotes in Phoenix on Wednesday night. Again, the final score, 4-1. The Flames down the Canucks here at Rogers Arena. Stay tuned for Willie Desjardins' live post-game media conference shortly. Before now, a look back at the way this game shook itself down tonight here on Rogers Arena Ice. Edom lost the puck at center. Here's a breakaway. Matt staging in on Miller. Backhander. Miller made the save. Canucks intercept. Sent it ahead. Here's Sutter trying to get behind Jordan. He shoots and he missed the net. Wins this one back to Tanev. Down the boards to Verbata, tees it up for Horvat. His shot, oh, I think it hit Russell's skate in the crease. And Furland's helmet off. He's throwing big right hands on now. Spies has lost his helmet. And they're not holding back here. Furland getting a little upper hand, and he threw a big right. Oh, an oh, uppercut. Geez. An uppercut on Spies, who stays on his feet. And that to Daniel. Hanson's in front. Daniel control it. Now flushed out by Brody. Daniel passes to Henrik. Face-off circle, wrist shot, stop, rebound. Hiller can't find it. Now it's shoveled in under his pads as he lies on his back and covers the puck. Now Edler checked behind the goal. And the Flames a chance to break out here with Edler trapped behind the play. Here's Backlund moving in, puts it in front. Brody on the backhand, centers. Froelich scores. Michael Froelich on the setup from TJ Brody. And the Flames open the scoring. 6.25 into the second. Ahead for Emerson Edom. Nice move to get in on the left wing, cutting it on goal. Edom goes behind the net, tries a wrap around. That was stopped. Rebound comes back to Tanev. Over to Edler. He shoots wide. Down behind the goal to Daniel. On to the left wing, Verbata. Back to Edler. One timer. Blocked. Rebound. Henrik. Put it through the crease and out the other side. Carries to the blue line. Nice pass. Horvat. Top of the circle. Centers. Stopped by Hiller. The chance for Hamus coming off the left point. He one timed it on goal across the body. And Hiller made a nice save sliding to his right. Pass to Brody, back to Furlan, moving in, making moves, in on goal, hit the post, rebound, Jones scores! David Jones, no, it's going to be waved off for a hand pass. No goal, says the referee. Tanev hit by Hoodler, who throws one in front, Monaghan scores! Canucks all got caught watching the puck. And Sean Monaghan, a one-timer set up by Yuri Hoodler, makes it 2-0. Huh? Right wing feed, Alex Burrows turns to get away from his check. Puts one in front, Edom tipped it just wide. Able to recover, get the puck to the side. Ham, he's under pressure, loses to Backlund, he scores! Michael Backlund from an impossible angle. Hiller made the save of the left pad. Vey gets the puck in the corner, behind the net to Burrows. Leaves for Lyndon Vey, out the near side. Centers, Edom scores! And here's another empty net chance, Sam Bennett scores. And it's 4-1 Calgary with 35 seconds left. One last drop, puck cleared, horn sounds, and Calgary improves to 2-1 and one against the Canucks this season.
subsequently 35 shots tonight. Were you happy with your team's offensive effort or killer instinct? Was there enough? Oh, we had chances. Like, I think we had 35 and we had 19 wide and 19 blocks. So we had lots of opportunities that way. Um, and, you know, but you, you got to come up with something. Is that why you didn't juggle the lines with just a few goals here in the last few games? Yeah, you know, you could look at it. I like, I, I like the city in line with Hanson. I have liked them. You know, I, I felt that they could get on track. The, the Vey lines played well. Our rest line's been pretty good for us, so it's, you know, we've had pretty good production, but uh, I thought about it, um, but I felt that, uh, you know, we're, we're still tight, and I thought they'd come up with something. Why do you think the team's been um, enabled to draw a lot of penalties? I think we have to get to the net more. Like, I think, you know, you don't need to take penalties if, you know, if it's, uh, if you're on the outside, so uh, we got to make more hard plays to the net, and we can't just accept checks. If guys are pushing us out, we got to fight. And if you fight, then a lot of times you'll draw it. And we, we seem to accept the checks a little bit. Hiller was spilling some rebounds tonight. Did your team do enough to, to try and get to them? Or was Calgary doing a great job of boxing you out? No, a couple we skated by. Like, you know, they were, they were fortunate on a couple of the rebounds. They kicked it by us. And not that that wasn't their plan, but it did. And, and it went by. And, you know, we probably had, there's three or four for sure that, you know, they got, they got a break on it that we didn't get them. What are you seeing from Radim Burbatter right now? Do you feel he's he's engaged out there? Um, yeah, I think uh, uh, it's difficult for Verbi. I think all scorers, when they score, they get more excited, and uh, he's not scoring, so I don't think he, you know, I just don't think the excitement's quite the same. Um, but I think he, you know, I think he's trying. I think he's putting in the effort. I just don't think he's getting rewarded. He really did an attempt to get Burbatta going. Do you do you then look at? maybe putting him on a line with the Sedins just to kind of get that score spark back? Yeah, we've, we've done that before. But, you know, the Horvat line's been good for us. Like, you know, like we, it's like one game or two, you know, you, you look at it like we've had chances we haven't scored. You know, it's, um, uh, you know, sometimes you, you got to change. But I, I haven't felt that, I felt it was close today when I when I was going in the third. I was writing down different combinations, but I felt that the, that we still had what we needed to get it. Willie, what did you think of Dan Hamels' return tonight? I thought he was very good. Yeah. I thought he came back. I thought he played hard. I thought he added to our team. Uh, did the uh, you know quickness with which he seemed to find his form surprise you at all? Um, I guess I was surprised. Yeah, I didn't know exactly what to expect, uh, but Dan works hard. You know, he works hard at his game, and, and he was prepared. And uh, that's a tough team to come back against. That's not the team I'd like for him to have to come back. But uh, he came back, and, and he did it. He, he was good. Jake in tonight, Jared out. Are you planning to rotate those guys in and out on that spot? or No. Uh, we'll evaluate a little bit more as we go. But uh, um, <clears throat> we'll, uh, you know, I think Jake's, Jake's played a little. I don't think Jake should be coming out every night. I think he's played pretty well, and I think he should be in a little bit more. Will you be rotating Barkowski and Biega, or, and, and why was Barkowski over Biega tonight? Uh, I just think that uh, I thought Barkowski was good tonight. Uh, I think he's a bigger body. Um, I think that uh, he's played the right side a little bit before, so it wasn't that big of a change for him. Um, he's a good skater. Like I thought with Calgary's forecheck, I thought I wanted to. You know, and I thought Bart's just a bigger guy, and he's played playoff hockey. He's, he's more used to that style that I thought they, Calgary would come with a playoff type game tonight, and uh, I thought Barkowski was good. Given the, uh, the deficit and how this homestand, deficit in the standings, uh, and how this homestand has started, do you worry at all about your team kind of looking at the big picture and losing heart a little bit? Um, I don't know. You'd hope they wouldn't. Like I, I, you know, like we have a job to do every night, and you know, you, you the last few losses have hurt us for sure. But that's an easy way out, you know. If you if you lose and, and you just think, well, you know, whatever. Like we 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 won't do that. Like we won't. Like we'll we'll play hard every game. We'll play hard. Thank you.